As you can tell, there is quite a bit going on here. Ivan requested a 24 hour long birthday celebration with friends arriving today in the afternoon, having an airsoft war until dinner time, which is usual, but that's usually when it ends. He wants to prolong it, let everybody stay, cook dinner over the campfire, camp out in the woods, and then wake up throughout the night as well as morning to like attack each other and all this stuff. They have spray painted tires for their, what are they called? Oh, I don't remember what it's called. They have spray painted tires so they could see at night. They all have glow in the dark BBs uh, with tracer, tracer BBs and all that. Um, I'm providing breakfast and lunch tomorrow, but today they wanted to cook everything. So there's a sourdough loaf for the group. They have tons of baked beans. They have sausage links and one of the moms is bringing snacks. They'll have to ration out those snacks for today in the afternoon. Plus probably late in the evening after dinner, they'll want to eat again. So they'll have that and then in the morning I'm making those sticky buns sourdough sticky buns I'll put the recipe in the link I used cinnamon roll dough my favorite recipe is a little spoon farms cinnamon roll uh sourdough cinnamon roll for the dough whenever I make cinnamon rolls I I always do um pioneer woman icing because her icing has the maple extract in it and coffee and it is the best icing ever 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 the second best is the little house on the prairie sticky bun icing so i usually do the pioneer woman if for whatever reason i don't have maple extract i'll do the little house on the prairie icing but, but for these sticky buns i used the little the little spoon farms sourdough cinnamon roll dough and then inside there's this sticky bun place called Nosbury Farms that was right across the street from my middle school growing up. So it's called Nosbury Farm. They are famous for their sticky buns. Everybody calls them cinnamon rolls, but they're sticky buns. My dogs are in here being rowdy. Sorry. 
I'm just taking a minute to have a chai latte and chat with you guys. And then I'm going to clean our camper because I'll tell you why I'm in here in a minute. But anyway, Nasberry Farm Sticky Bun. So I use their uh, copycat recipe for the inside. It's just brown sugar and I'm sorry, it's just white sugar, but I use the organic raw. So it's a little light brownish and um, cinnamon. And then you roll it up just like a cinnamon roll. You cut them just like cinnamon rolls. But before you put them in the pan, you make the sticky bun syrup. And so I had brown rice syrup. There's butter in it. All this good stuff. I'll post the link for that as well. If you're interested in doing something a little different than your typical cinnamon roll, sticky buns are delicious. I've been requested those. So I'm going to make those for breakfast plus breakfast burritos. And then at lunch, I've got hummus, veggies, fruit, nuts, chips, dip, and sandwiches. And they'll I'll make it like a buffet style and they can just assemble their own sandwiches. I'll just lay everything out. And by that time, they'll probably be tired and ready to just hang out and get picked up and go home. So by the end of tomorrow, 24 hour birthday party, we're all going to be exhausted because I'm pretty sure no one's going to sleep tonight. We'll just see. The dogs are probably going to hear them be barking, waking me and Hector up all night. The kids are going to be out there. They might come in and put their sleeping bags in the living room and sleep inside if they can't handle staying outside all night. It gets very, very dewy on our property at night. So they're going to be wet whether it rains or not. And rain is predicted. So we'll see. They're going to put tarps up and try to rainproof their campsite. I don't know how it's going to go. We're just going to roll with it and make the best of it. For sure, they're making good memories. That's for sure. And it'll be an adventure. So by the time the party's done tomorrow and everybody's picked up, I'm going to give my kids about two and a half to three hours to relax. And then we got to get moving because Saturday morning we're leaving in the camper to Dolphin Island for a little spontaneous beach trip. And I'm so excited. I've never been there. It's only seven hours away, which is way better than driving to Florida. We're taking the dogs for the first time ever with us anywhere. So kind of unsure how that's all going to play out, but it's going to be back to back to back stuff. And so for sure, Hector needs to sleep well Friday night if we don't sleep well tonight so he can drive because when we're pulling the camper, he's the only one that drives. So I've got to get the camper cleaned up. I already stripped all the sheets. They are in the wash right now. I'm going to dust everything do the floors, clean the bathtub and the toilet. So I'm going to clean and then the party should be starting in about an hour or so. So I want to get this done before people start arriving. And then the kids will be occupied pretty much for 24 hours. They don't want us to intrude. They want us to back off and let them just figure everything out. So that's what we're going to do. So I pretty much have 24 hours to myself. So I'm going to clean the camper and let everybody get here. I'm doing laundry for our trip. Um, I'm just pacing myself, like doing some today, some tomorrow. And then tomorrow, up until they get all picked up, all I'm gonna do is, you know, put the sticky buns in the oven, make a big scramble, give tortillas to everybody. They can make their burritos. And then at lunch, I'll just put out a spread. But besides that, I have time to exercise. I have time to clean, uh, do laundry. I think one of my friends is gonna hang out for a few hours today, so I might go foraging for some honeysuckle and make some honeysuckle cordial with her and enjoy that. And then tomorrow before we leave, of course, we'll all pack, make sure the chickens have food and water, make sure we bring all the dog food we need for the dogs and water bowls and their beds and their leashes. We've never traveled with them. I hope they do okay. I fear they're going to bark a lot and hurt my ears. I have injured ears, especially my left one. So I might need to bring an ear plug just to protect it on the chance that they'll bark like crazy if we park somewhere or if we're in the camper and they hear stuff outside, they'll bark. But maybe not if they can't see out the window. So we'll see. So that's pretty much what's going on and why I'm so busy in this video.
my favorite time of the year in my home because this is how I first saw this property and it stole my heart. All the smells take me back to that first month I ever saw this place. It's so wonderful. So thankful. So if you're not 100% sure what Yarrow looks like, it's got these tiny little white flowers. It comes in different colors as well, but what will give it away are the feathery leaves. These soft feathery leaves will show up first and then the yarrow will come up and bloom. This is what it looks like closed. And then when they open up, there are all these tiny little delicate flowers. I'll have this. I wish I had brought my pruners. I would be getting them now for my centerpiece. Another wildflower to add to the bouquets. So pretty. And sometimes I do just yarrow because there's so much of it that, and it's so pretty. I guess I should have specified to not fight around my chicken coop, but it's all right. 